Have you ever wondered what a profit and loss statement is and why it's important to you? I'm going to share that with you in about two seconds. Hello, this is Dave Scott Peters, creator of the Restaurant Prosperity Formula and a principal at the Largo Group. Look, I get it. You get this profit and loss statement, often called an income statement or operating statement from your accountant or CPA. You go rifling to the bottom of the last page and go, how much I make or lose and go, oh crap, right? What does it mean to you? Have you ever combed through it to see, is it accurate? Does it make sense to you? Why is it important? Well, let's start off with, it's extremely important for you to know your profit and loss statement is accurate because it's how you run your business. It is your report card for success. Do you understand that when we get to that bottom line, that profit and loss is going to be your report card. Do you want an A or an F in your business? And the only way to make sure that your profit and loss statement is accurate, right? It really shows what happened between two pictures of time, one balance sheet and another balance sheet, the movie in between, that's your profit and loss statement. The only way to know that it's accurate is to have one, a good chart of accounts. See, all too often, I've seen literally thousands upon thousands of profit and loss statements over the last almost 20 plus years working with independent restaurant operators just like you. And I look at these chart of accounts and go, how the hell do you even know if you're doing anything? Especially if I ask you a question and say, what does this number mean? What's in this number? And you go, I don't know, I've got to call my accountant. Wrong. That's already a place where you can say your P&L is not accurate. Because if you don't know what every number is in each one of those chart of accounts, we got a problem. In fact, you need to tell your CPA, tell your bookkeeper what goes in those. The next is having the right chart of accounts. Is it split up properly? For instance, I can't have food and beverage when it comes to my sales categories. I need food, NA Bev, bottle beer, draft beer, wine, liquor. Why? I need to know where my sales trends are, but more importantly, when I get the cost of goods sold, I need to make sure I have them separated. Each one has their own target. And as a part of that chart of accounts, you've got to use the right numbers. So if I have bottle beer cost of goods sold, it needs to be divided into bottled beer sales, not total sales, which would be gap, generally accepted accounting principles. But it gives me a, a false number. I may have a poor cost of like 0.5% when it's really 25%. That's critical. Next, in order to really get the maximum benefit of your profit and loss statement, you need a budget because that which we measure improves. When I have a plan for success, I can measure it against my profit and loss statement. I have the ability to see where I hit or missed and what changes I might need to make to change my bottom line. And one of the most important things when we talk about looking at our profit and loss statement is making sure that your numbers are timely and accurate. And the only way to do that is to make sure that your accounting firm is tying out your balance sheet. See, if they make sure every one of the categories or accounts on your balance sheet is literally been reconciled, then your bottom line is right. You are paying the right sales tax. You are paying the right income tax. You know whether your profit and loss is accurate. Look, if you really want to take your business to the next level, you need to make sure you understand your profit and loss statement and you take control.